Well, I'm Dennis Mitchell. I'm the inventor of the, uh, the Short Pro tool. This is a unique device that can quickly and safely test out low voltage shorts in HVAC equipment. And uh, before we do the demonstration on how to use the Short Pro, I'm just going to briefly go over some of the uh, traditional methods of locating shorts and uh, to point out some advantages of using the Short Pro versus the, the old method of testing for shorts. Now, most of the time when you get ready to look for a short, you want to do the, the obvious thing first, uh, cut the voltage off to the furnace or outdoor unit and do a visual just to make sure you don't see the, the wire that could be rubbing ground or shorting out to ground or maybe it's the dog that chewed uh, the thermostat wire outside. Of course, do the obvious thing first and then you can go ahead and start trying to locate that short. Uh, one method that they've used in the past, of course, is uh, doing the continuity test. Uh, this could take uh, a lot of extra time that's not needed. You've got to cut the power off, take circuits loose, and try to ohm out each one to see if you can find a, a, a ground or test continuity. And a lot of time this is not a, the best method in the world because there's some shorts out there that uh, you can't find with a simple continuity test. You have to have current flowing. And that's one thing the Short Pro can do. It has current flowing all the time. Another method uh, techs use is a manual reset type breaker with some leads on it where they, uh, they jump out where the blown fuse was and start jumping out circuits till it pops the, the breaker. Uh, this is an all right method, although it uh, can be time consuming also, especially if you're outside trying to locate the short and it pops the breaker. You got to constantly go back and forth to reset it. And on the Short Pro tool, it has an automatic reset fuse in it, so you never have to run back and forth to reset it. It automatically resets. And the last method that a lot of people use, and I'll show this on the board, we'll get a close up of it is where they jump out where the fuse was and uh, go ahead and put the amp probe across that secondary wire and start jumping out circuits until we get our high amperage. I'll show you right now how a lot of people would do that. And then take out the, uh, the blown fuse or the or bad fuse and they would use a jumper lead to jump out that fuse. And right now I'm going to try to demonstrate uh, like if we had a short I'm going to put across a, uh, the cooling circuit across the coil of this contact we have off to the right over here. I'll just create a short. And with the, uh, the jumper lead what we have over here is our red load side from the second area of the transformer. The second terminal is common ground and the third is going to be your cooling circuit. This is the one I'm going to short out. And if you can see the display on our probe right here, I'm going to go ahead and short out the Y circuit that we have the short on. It's drawing. Right now, a direct short was drawing 8.34 amps, way above what this 40VA transformer can do. Now, when you do this, you can hit the branch circuits, and when you hit that one branch circuit, in this case the cooling circuit had the higher amperage, each time you do that, it does damage to the transformer and all the circuits. You can see how that's got some high amperage, 8.34. Now, on the Short Pro tool, it's, it's got a resettable fuse in here that's at a safe uh, current rate. If you put a short across there, it'll go ahead and open up and protect all the circuits while you're testing. So you can see how you've got another advantage of using the Short Pro tool that it's not going to do any further damage to the transformer or the control circuits. Uh, if, like if you were testing this old method this way. 
let's go ahead and stop the video and we'll go ahead